uh, Bill Baker. He's the chief structural engineer behind uh, the tallest building in the world. But you're not going to tell me how tall it is till later on. But we know it's over 800 metres. Would you? You're not going to confirm or deny that. But no, no well, we, we can confirm it's over 800 metres. The client allows us to say that, but they don't allow us to say how tall it actually is. Okay. Now, what were the challenges? There must have been so many in building this. Well, uh, in, in any tall building, uh, this one in particular is the wind. Uh, because every time the wind goes past an object, it goes by in an unstable manner and it makes it want to go rock from side to side. But it doesn't rock, the body of it, unlike other big well, it, towers. It's actually very quiet, and because of the way we shaped it. So every time we change the shape of the building, which is approximately every 10 floors, uh, the, weight, the rate at which the wind goes by changes. And so the wind never gets organized. We call it confusing the wind. And by doing that, and that plus managing gravity, gravity is an amazingly uh, reliable thing, uh, we're able to resist the forces uh, of nature in a very economical way. Okay. Uh, when you look at this building, what do you love the most about it? Well, certainly the, the height, but it's actually the way it catches the light from every angle, you know. Uh, it has a, a glass and, and so stainless steel uh, skin and it's self-shading. Uh, you know, uh, the, the light catches part of it, but the rest of it is, is, in, is, is in shade. And, and, uh, and it's just, it, and it represents optimism. You know, people who build skyscrapers are very optimistic about the future, and, and it's, it's a dream. And so what you're seeing here is a dream realized. It's, it's a dream realized, but what about the future? Is it symbolic of the golden days of Dubai, which are behind us, or does it represent a new start, perhaps, after the uh, economic shockwaves that we felt here? Well, certainly the energy here this week, uh, coming for the opening, was incredible. Uh, this whole area here is, is a tremendous development, all by, all by the same developer, Imar. It's a, it's a pedestrian environment in a city which before didn't have a pedestrian environment. So this, we, we believe at least this development is going to be quite successful. Well, walk us through. It's got three bits. It represents yep. a flower, uh, and that's representing different parts of it, the commercial side, the hotel side, and the residences. Yeah, and as you go up, the, the very bottom is an Armani Hotel, the first Armani Hotel. And the next three zones, if you go between the horizontal bands, uh, is residential. Uh, and then when you get the very top, it's actually uh, a corporate suites. Now, from, a, from an American point of view, we, we were used to office spacing being quite large, big, big floor plates. But the, uh, these are corporate suites, which are small floors that are set aside for, uh, for wealthy individuals uh, from the region who wish to have a, a, their, their Dubai office here in the British Dubai. Yeah, but we don't know, as Emar's business, whether that's been sold out or not. What have you heard about it? Well, I, I, we do know that they sold levels uh, 19 to 108, the residential, in two nights. Okay, they had an invitation only uh, sales event several years ago. And so that entire part was sold. And now the Armani Hotel is not going to be sold, of course. It's going to be uh, rented. But they are Armani tenants. residences. Yeah, well, the re re those have been sold. The, the Armani residences have been sold. And so um, at the very top, I, we do know that some of the corporate streets have been sold for pretty high rates. Uh, but uh, they may be holding a few back for, for later sales. Now, right at the top, before you get to the tower, there's a, there's, we don't know what the last two stories are going to hold. Do, do, when will we find out? Uh, you might find out tonight. We'll see if the client wants to announce what, what's actually at the very, very top. And of course, the highest swimming pool in the world as yes, well? Yes. Well, it, it, the thing's all, all, all the superlatives. I mean, you have to realize this building is about a thousand feet or 300 meters taller than the second tallest building in the world. And, uh, it's, and it's interesting, when we first started our design, our first uh, model we took in the wind tunnel was only 10 meters, only 33 feet higher than existing. And, and over the course of the design, we uh, by, we kept on reshaping the building and reshaping and testing the wind tunnel. We were able to, uh, to uh, convince ourselves we could go higher and higher and still and we were able to, we were able to prove that. Is there a higher one projected after this one, Bill? Uh, we've learned quite a bit and uh, we, have, we have some things that we might actually do right. that's a little taller. Bill, thank you so much for joining us. Bill Baker, he's the chief structural engineer of uh, the Burj Dubai and he works for uh, uh, Wells, Skinner, Owen and Merrill.